Occasionally you'll be asked to create a new database and obviously the first place you want to create this database is on your development server. It's a straightforward process. You're going to use Management Studio, you're going to click Databases, right click and select a new database. The template that opens up is the template that's stored inside the model system database. In this case I'm going to call the database CIAC for Coach and McCann. Its ownership I am going to to assign to a login that is not associated with an individual and in this case it's SA SQL Admin. I um, want to point out that in auto growth if you're at all concerned with performance you don't want to have your databases database files growing by percent you want them growing by chunks of space so in this case data uh, will grow by 10% uh, by 10 megabytes and logs will grow by 5 megabytes every time it needs to increase. I do not like to store my production database files in a folder that that contains system level files or SQL Server level files that could be overwritten. I create folders for SQL data and for SQL logs and I put them in there and this makes it easy if I have to split out and redistribute and relocate the files I can simply do it by folder. I'm also going to take control of the naming convention. I'm going to call the data file CIACData.MDF which is a traditional naming convention and the log is going to become CIAC log LDF. I don't need any more files the recovery model, because I'm just starting to work with this, I'm going to switch it over and it's on my development system, I'm going to switch it over to a simple recovery model. If this was production, you'd be looking at either full or bulk log most likely. Um, on statistics, I'm going to let it auto create the statistics and auto update the statistics for now until I see a need to change that. On the ANSI uh, the ANSI uh, choices. The only way to determine what your shop is doing in terms of ANSI standards is to go and take a look at existing production database properties and, uh, and, and basically mimic what you've got there. On re for, for recovery, for page verifying, you want to do a checksum. File groups, I only need the one. Again, I'm just starting out with this. This is a small database. I don't expect it to grow very quickly. And so I'm just going to click OK. It is going to create the CIAC databases for me. I can refresh it and put it in its alpha order. Something I wanted to show you very quickly, in the Windows file system in SQL data, there's my data file, my MDF file, and in the SQL logs folder, there's my CIAC log file. And you can't open it, you can't delete it as long as the database is running. And that's it for now.